the wrist straps are going to squat if they're pretty for the use. <laughs> women, for some reason, they don't have a problem with it. But you know, I mean, I must have a guy say, well, if I can't open with 500 pounds, I, don't, I shouldn't be here. Well, what kind of... Yeah, you know, so that... So basically, your opener should be something you can squat for. If you're using equipment, uh, if you're squatting raw, then you should probably have about 40 or 50 pounds below your best raw squat. If I'm, for example, I've been very close to say a 500 pound squat, I open with 440, which is 60 pounds below my low. But what that does is, when I take my first attempt, I'm not concerned about the weight. Because there are other issues on the platform. And the issues are you have three referees. And they're going to give you start, uh, commence signals, and, uh, and finish signals. So you've got to be focused and aware of that. So if you open the light, it makes it much easier to concentrate and get the first note in there. Because you could make a silly mistake. So maybe, because we all get excited, we all get focused, so you come back out and come out, set up. <laughs> You're going, well, so you lose the lift. So you should start conservatively. Be a conservative opening attempts on all your lifts. So that if you have a problem like that happen to you every year. Happened to me when the World Championships. I, I come up with my opening attempt, but I had a little bit of a hip problem. I was kind of favored a little bit, so I didn't go deep enough. My coach wants to leave me see. Okay, John, no problem, no problem. I wasn't concerned, I knew I could do it. The weight wasn't heavy, too heavy. So I took the same weight out. Drop. Now, had I opened heavy and had to take it again, that's going to tear into my third attempt. So now I've done two hard squats. Now I've got to do a third attempt, okay? You want to conserve a little bit of that energy for that third attempt. So, 
They were going to be the sheriff was going to be the first to tell. And that gets you in the tournament. It's just like, a, it's just like one of your last days. Now you can do two really hard and heavier attempts coming up. Yes, my mom. Speak, speaking of warm-ups, I've mean, seen so many guys they're training so heavy, warming up, and I've walked up to them, what are you opening up with? About oh, five pounds more, I go, oh my word. Yeah. What do you recommend working up to that opener? I can't tell you how many people have saved in the back room at all levels, national and world championships. I can't believe some people have won this, uh, their last attempt. Their, their last promo looked like their third attempt. You know, here they are in the back room, <laughs> Wait, come on, like this, everyone. What are you open up with? Well, about 20 pounds more than that. Are you crazy? <laughs> Lower your weight right now, drop it 40 pounds. And you go, what are you talking about? I said, you better do it. And most of the time, that's the only lift they get. That's why. Well, warm it up. You should practice your warm ups in the gym. Prior to the tournament, you make yourself a little schedule. You, you start with, what is your third attempt going to be? This is your goal. But that third attempt should be something you can squat. Not something that because I'm going to be up and I'm going to be excited, so I'm going to squat 20 more pounds than I ever have in my life. That's a little unrealistic. You should be realistic about what your attempts are. So you pick your third attempt at the gym within the last, within the last six week period. You're not gonna get much stronger, okay? Within that period of time there, then you look out and say, okay, this would be my second attempt. This would be my opening attempt. And I think you should have 50 or 60 pounds spread. Now, I will go into the warm-up. So your last one would be 20 or 30 pounds away from your weight. And that last one should be a single. A single. And the warm up before that, I like to do a double. And then the warm up before that, I'd probably do a triple. So you need to, but when you first come up to the warm up room, you need to, you need to loosen up. Take the empty bar out. Just because there's no weights on it doesn't mean a thing. Use it as a stretch. Get down and stretch it real good. Get your first plate going. I take the first plate out two times. The first time I take it out, I may do eight to ten reps. The second time I take it out, I'll do six. And then I'll go to my, for me, I'll go to my second plate. And I've got me a little schedule that I've written out. That schedule tells me that I go to two plates, I'm only going to do four reps. When I go to three plates, I'm doing three reps. When I go to 365 or something, I'm doing a double. 400, I'm doing a single. And I'm going to open. I go for you. Yeah, and full four. Okay? And that's to conserve you, but you, but you, you need to run those muscles to get them to work properly. And to keep you from getting injured, you do need a proper warm-up, but not to the point that you did a whole workout. You don't do a whole workout in the back room. You figure out how much you need, and you practice that in the gym. And you time it in the gym. If you start your workout at 4 o'clock, you say, today I'm going to do the same thing that I would if I came to the tournament and brought my equipment. Four o'clock, I'm going to start my warm-ups. We're going to start lifting 445. So what you do is look at the clock and you start warming up according to that clock. And figure out, well, how much time do I really need to warm up? And you can find out for yourself. I like to use about five minutes between those squats. Four to five minutes.